There are two common types of horizontal curves used for a highway alignment. A simple curve is a curve with a constant radius that defines how sharp or flat the curve is. And a spiraled curve, which is actually a simple curve that's bounded by spiral transitions from the tangent to the simple curve. So it's common to wonder when should you use a spiral transition versus just a simple curve. And all of this ties back to looking at a term known as P or the lateral offset. And essentially what you were looking at here is how far the spiral transition is going to offset the original simple curve. And the rough guidance is that when it exceeds two thirds of a foot or about eight inches, we're going to benefit from the spiral transition. The 2018 Ashto Green Book, which is the seventh edition, table 318, has provided us with this guidance that pulls in the information about the effect of the lateral offset. These two tables show both metric and English units, the design speed, and then the maximum radius. And so what we're looking at here are the radius values that are going to show when we're going to maximize the effect of the spiral transition. So after any radius above these points, the effect of the spiral transition on lateral acceleration is likely to be negligible. So anything, any radius above this, these values, a simple curve is sufficient. Any radius that is below these values, you should look into using a spiraled curve to provide the equilibrium that drivers are looking for on a roadway. So for instance, if you're looking at a road with a design speed of 60 miles per hour, we see that the maximum radius listed is 1,822 feet. So any radius that's larger than 1,822 feet does not need or does not, is not going to benefit substantially from a spiral transition. Any curve with a radius that's smaller than that value or equal to 1822 is going to derive a benefit from that spiral transition. So these are the key tables when you're looking at trying to make the decision, should I design a simple curve or a spiral curve? So using the table, radius values that are equal to the value in the table or less, you should use a spiral curve. Anything larger than these radius values and a simple curve should be sufficient.